Well, hello, I'm a Jay Critic. I remember it because I have to. Charlie Brown, the adaptation movie, was pretty good. I just saw it. So here is the official Jay Critic review of Charlie Brown, the movie. Now, you can actually find this on Netflix, I believe. Uh, I'm not fully sure. However... Enough about that, let's get started, shall we? Uh, I thought it was pretty good overall. It was a nice sort of encapsulation of everything uh, Charlie Brown related. Uh, you had a New Year's, uh, uh, like a um, St. Valentine's, Christmas, all that fun stuff. Uh, and it was just truly, it was, it was a good collection. Uh, what I like is that they did like their own spin-off to their own thing, which is very unique and interesting, because like... Yeah, it was fun. Um, I enjoyed it overall. There are a few very strange things. Kids freaking out that somebody was able to fly a kite. Uh, I mean, I will say, though, that they did a good encapsulation of all the characters. I will say that. Um, overall, it was I found it to be a very enjoyable movie uh, experience. Uh, I enjoyed it from start to finish. Um... I would recommend it for anybody that likes the Peanuts. Um, it's interesting how they try to keep the dynamic between uh, Charlie Brown and Snoopy very much on the same track. Uh, the difference is, of course, is that Snoopy's is more fantasy, where Charlie Brown is actually going through it and actually has these things to deal with. Uh, it's really interesting um, how they sort of tie it all in at the end, too. It's really cool. Um, you know, Charlie wasn't selfish, uh, and helped her, his younger sister, at the talent show when she needed help and support, um, at the assembly, because apparently he got 100%. He didn't. He was honest about that, and just all throughout was just a good person, uh, which Charlie Brown doesn't see at first until... The, the the little girl, the little red-headed girl tells him so. So, it was very interesting. Uh, one minor complaint I have is that um, the, the girl with the red hair, the little red-headed girl, as Charlie likes to call her, um, she had a pencil that she chews on, and so for the entirety of the movie, Charlie Brown had the pencil. She sort of dropped it, and it, like, went to Charlie, and he kind of held on to it for, like, the entire movie, and I had a feeling it was going to play some role in the end, and she's like, oh, thank you, I, I didn't know, I had no idea where it was, I've been looking for it everywhere. Where in the movie have you been looking for it? Like, every scene, scene we see her in, she's usually dancing, being happy, and she almost doesn't seem to care about the pencil. So what do you mean you've been looking for it everywhere? I mean, come on. Ugh. It felt like a lazy excuse just to have the pencil in at the end. Uh, but other than that, I'm perfectly fine with it. Uh, it was a great movie overall, highly recommended, and I think it was a fantastic viewing. Uh, I'm actually surprised, uh, and now we're going to cover some future uh, videos for you guys. As far as the J Critic series goes, it will live, and we will take a look at the very much unknown tales of Bible Man. Yes, Bible Man is a thing. I go to church, okay, this is something most of my friends and people who know me well know. Uh, I was given these. Um, by somebody. I have a third one somewhere. It was like a sequel to Left Behind or something, I think. So, yeah, uh, we're gonna review these two suckers at some point. Uh, for future reference, we're gonna be giving you, um, we're gonna be giving you The Giver. Uh, it was a book, uh, it turned into a movie, so we're gonna review that movie, uh, but I gotta rewatch it, because I haven't seen it in, like, forever, and yeah. Uh, other projects include The Ghost Rider, Assassin's Creed Lineage, Assassin's Creed, whenever it gets out in movie theaters. Oh, and the list goes on and on. Avatar Last Airbender, High School Musicals, all three of them. I, I, I. However, it will be important because the f we're going to have a season of nostalgia. This is my way to pay tribute to the nostalgia critic. 
for giving me, for sort of inspiring the idea of Jay Critic. And this is the way I'm going to pay tribute. I'm going to look at four notoriously, nostalgically bad movies. And the theme for this, for these four very bad movies is adaptations. Yes, it is going to be adaptation time. And for the following four movies, we will have Avatar, The Last Airbender. We will have Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Jim Carrey edition, of course. The Cat in the Hat live action, of course. And we're going to have Jem and the Hologram, four of the worst movies ever. We will go through, and we'll see if I can survive. I hope I can. <laughs> Um, if you have any suggestions for movies you would like me to do, put them in the comments section down below. I'm the Jay Critic. And I remember it because I have to. My name is the Blue Hood. I am an assassin. And we are coming to the Jay Ward channel.